I'm going to show you how to use a kilowatt meter so that you can take your own readings of, of things. Uh, right now, I've actually got our refrigerator here um, hooked up to this kilowatt hour meter. And it's, right now it's running and it's using 124 watts. And it's actually been running a long time, about 48 days. It actually fell behind the fridge and I forgot all about it. And now I found it and I thought, hey, this is a perfect time to show you um, how to measure something that's been running a long time. Now you could make a, you could, you could find the average usage pretty easily, um, uh, but it doesn't have to run this long. But this is a good example. So you take uh, the kilowatt hours divided by the time, and it's this pink button here. And <clears throat> so you find there's the 1161 hours, and uh, here's 77.15 kilowatt hours. So you divide, I got a little calculator here, I don't know if you can see that, but you do uh, what was it, 77.15 divided by 1161 and equals, I'm trying to look through the screen here, so that's in kilowatt hours, kilowatts, so about 66.4 watts on average is what our fridge is drawing. So this is the style of fridge here. It's one of those fancy side-by-side -side ones, and uh, you know it's it's rated to only draw 60 watts on average, but um, it actually uses we've been it's using a little bit more than that. So that's pretty close. So I'm pretty happy with that fridge. But that's just a good indicator of how you use the kilowatt hour meter, and it also shows you volts amps, 1.2 amps, watts, but it does show you all these neat things, but really what you want to care about is the watts and the time it's been running and the kilowatt hours. And that's all you need to know. And you can plug that into any device that cycles and let it run and and you'll, you'll know exactly how much power it's using on average. So I hope this helps.